Hello, in this video we're going to take a look at uh, opening up files, project and solution files, in Visual Studio. On uh, a regular basis I get questions about why I can't, why somebody can't open a particular file or project in Visual Studio. And uh, there's a number of reasons. Uh, partly it's something on your computer is the way it's set up. Uh, partly it's because you have multiple versions of Visual Studio and it tries to open up the wrong one. Uh, and those things can usually be resolved by just a couple simple things. Let's, let's talk about those. Those are the most common. First of all, it is possible for your computer not to have Visual Studio installed correctly. But that's almost always never the case. Uh, I would say 10%. Most of the time what happens is that you go to click on a file and it starts opening up the wrong one. Now, you can see here it says 2013 and I know for a fact that this file I just clicked on is Visual Studio 2010. That's what made it. If you had paused your video back there you would have seen that. I'll do it again for pausing features. There we go. So. The problem is that if I double click on this, it'll try to open up the latest version of Visual Studio. But if that version doesn't have the particular tool installed, it's not going to work. Now, the tools installed or plugin installed is there's plugins for C Sharp, there's plugins for Visual Basic, there's plugins for Analysis Server, uh, Integration Server, Reporting Server. Visual Studio is just a shell, and there has to be pl a plugin installed in that shell in order for a particular project to work. Now in my case I installed the SQL Server data tools and if you haven't installed those yet you can go through and install them. Remember that there are two types. The type I installed on this machine is the one for the business intelligence tools um, and there's another one that allows you to work with SQL Server kind of like Manager Studio but lightweight version. I have a video out there on how to install the SQL Server data tools if you're interested in doing that. And if uh, if those data tools are installed in a particular version, when you double click on a file that you're trying to open, you should be able to see the file and work with it after that. However, it is possible for me to open up uh, a project or solution and not see these red dots just mean that my connections haven't been configured yet uh, open up a solution and not see um, all this light up and that would happen if I open it in a, a different version I have on my, on my machine by 2012 uh, let's see 2015 I don't think I installed it for 2015. I'm going to blend. Oh, Visual Studio 2012. There we go. Now, when it's cooking, let me talk about one more thing. It's usually best if the author made it in 2010 to open it in 2010. Open with. Visual Studio 2010. Uh, if you double click on it, it'll try to open in what is considered the default version on your machine. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how that gets configured. I have 2015, but 2013 opened just a few seconds ago. Um, but you can always right click and say open with and choose the, the older version of Visual Studio. And that solves a lot of people's problems because they're, they're getting the newer one. And the newer one doesn't have the tools installed. Now, on this machine, I think this one doesn't have the tools. We're going to find out. Nope, I've installed them on here too. Okay. The last one I could try would be 2015, but I'm pretty sure I installed it on that one too.
Okay, looks like I did. So it comes up with this unsupported. Now, normally, uh, Visual Studio 2013 and 12, it um, it actually doesn't give you a nice little warning box like this. It just comes up, and in the tree view, you'll see that it's like unavailable. The project isn't loading. So that's one way to resolve this, and often that works. Now, every now and then, you right click and you'll say, open with and it still doesn't work so here's the other option what you do is you go to and see this is off the screen right now so I'm going to the start menu and I'm going to find Visual Studio 2010 now it could be in its own folder under Microsoft Visual Studio 2010 or it may, have, it may have just been installed with SQL Server, in which case it'll show up as Microsoft SQL Server uh, 2012, uh, if that's the folder, and it'll be under Data Tools. Let's see if I can get a screenshot here. Oops, can I get over there that far? I cannot, dogs. Nope, not gonna let me happen. How if I zoom in more? Ooh. Kinda. So, Microsoft SQL Server, I'm in the start menu on the left hand side. Um, and then SQL Server Data Tools Visual Studio, it's under there. Okay, so the, the next step is I'm going to go through and right click on it and run it as a administrator. Now, to kind of help with this video here. I think what I'll do is I'll make a shortcut. Okay. And now with my little shortcut. I can pretend you pretend this is the um, the start menu. You right click and run as administrator. Now occasionally, especially more and more, Microsoft's been locking things down. Occasionally, what will happen is that you can't open things correctly without doing this. If you do it right, it'll show up as administrator here at the top. And then you can try a couple things. You can either drag and drop. That will work on some machines, but not on others. How fun is that? The other option is, let me clear this off, oh, let's see, close solution, uh, is to go up here, hit open uh, project, and then navigate down to where the solution is. Now I'm in one class, but it worked for any of my classes. And then you can open it that way. That's probably the most foolproof way of doing it. it um, it's, it's the most likely to work. Anyway, so hopefully it will help you uh, troubleshoot the issues. Um, those, like I said, come up on a regular basis. And with any luck, that will clear it up for you. Good luck out there, and I'll talk to you later.